Global Industrial Warehouse Personnel Carrier, Model 800574, Unpack and Setup Guide. Begin the uncrating process by prying the nails loose around the top panel of the crate. With the help of an associate, remove the top of the crate. Proceed to the sides of the crate, prying nails loose from the top to the base of the pallet. With the help of an associate, pry away the first side panel of the crate from the pallet base. Once free, completely remove the first side panel from your work area. Proceed to pry the nails and loosen the front panel and continue to work the panel free from the pallet base. Once the front panel is free, remove it from your work area. Proceed to remove the rear ramp panel from the crate. Place the ramp aside as it will be required for vehicle drive off. Remove the final back panel from the crate and away from your work area. Carefully cut the packing tape and remove all bubble wrapping from the vehicle. Unlock and remove the ratchet strapping and packing material. Remove the wood chocks from the base of the personnel carrier. Place the included ramp at the front of the shipping pallet. Raise the driver's seat to access the battery compartment. Complete the battery wiring connections outlined in the operator's manual. Turn the key to the on position. Release the emergency stop button and disengage the parking brake lever. Drive the personnel carrier off the shipping pallet and down the ramp. Install the amber safety light and mast pole to the rear of the vehicle. Remove the steel cargo deck to access and connect the amber light wiring harness. Your global industrial warehouse personnel carrier is now ready for operational use within your facility.